Austin, the writer for Soul Stealer. Um, can you tell us a little bit about this novel? Uh, I can. It's a, it's a gothic romance. It uh, takes place over 3,000 years. Um, I wrote the book. Uh, this is Christopher Shy with his back to us because he's the artist and he's shy. And um, he's well named. I've worked on it for the past seven years and this is a compilation of what we've been working on. So how many stories are in this book? It's three stories put together plus a hundred pages of never before seen art that we added onto the book. Yeah, the art in this book is amazing. I can't wait to read it. The storyline is probably amazing as well. I heard that it's also a love story? It is. At the core of it, it's a love story about how far you'd go to get back somebody that you've lost. Wow, I think we can all relate to that. Where can we find this book? The book is debuting here at New York Comic Con and it'll be available in January 2012 on Amazon and all bookstores. Great, and do you have a website where we can check it out? We do. You can go to blackwatchcomics.com or thesoulstealer.com. Great, thank you so much. Hi, we're here with actor Brian O'Halloran and he's going to tell us um, a little bit about why he's here today. Sure. Um, I'm here at the uh, Comic Book Con and uh, here in New York I've uh, always been a fan of the comics and uh, you know the movies and the fans of comics and uh, the movies I've done, Clerks, Clerks 2, Chasing Amy Dog, as, a, as all well known that Kevin Smith is a huge comic book fan and the references in his films for, to comic books and sci-fi are so rampant that it was a natural for me to be here. So do you have any advice for aspiring actors and actresses? Oh, you know what? Um, Definitely for aspiring actor and actresses to, to take theater and stage acting. That's the core skills that you need to learn that will transfer over to television, film. You learn by doing live theater. Once you get over your nerves about being in front of an audience and hearing the feedback you get from an audience, it's a great thing to, to have that core. You know, you get to learn a script from beginning to end. It teaches you memory, muscle memory. And um, do you have a website where our, um, well, where your fans can actually check you out? Um, I don't have an official website as much as I have. Uh, I, you can follow me on Twitter at BrianCOHolleran.com or my Facebook page, Brian O'Holleran. There's two of them. There's a fan page, and then there's my own page. So any one of those will be fine. Hi, we're here with C. Martin Croker, the designer for the popular TV show Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Ah, thank you so much. Um, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what you do? Uh, well, yeah, I've been working for Cartoon Network since uh, 1993 wow. and uh, started working on the original Space Ghost Coast to Coast. Mm -hmm. uh, did a lot of the designs, animation, and voices for that show, including Zorak. Ooh. And, um, uh, and Moltar, too, but that's more of an effect. So. <laughs> And uh, I'm also Steve and Dr. Weird for uh, Aqua Teen one, at the, during the times that they're on it. Oh, wow. But uh, I've also worked on the Brack Show and uh, did a lot, of, a lot of the designs for uh, uh, Aqua Teen as far as uh, the main characters. I animated Meatwad, Frylock. Uh, <laughs> did <my> favorite. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, cool. Um, could you just give a little advice to the viewers? Um, like, if they want to get into, like, drawing or animation or anything like that? Uh, I would say just uh, be diligent, tenacious, and uh, you know, don't give up. Never take no for an answer, and uh, you know, find find a way, <laughs> find your way in. <laughs>